Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about ploidy and what happens when there is change in ploidy. Ploidy is actually the number of complete sets of chromosome in a cell which includes both autosomes and sex chromosome. In a cell there is cytoplasm present and there is also nucleus and chromosomes are present in the nucleus. It consists of both the maternal and the paternal copies. So, the chromosomes are present in the homologous pairs. Normal organisms, either plants or animals, these are diploid. That is, these consist of two sets of the chromosome represented as 2N. And during the sexual reproduction, these produces gametes. And these gametes are haploid, which has only one set of the chromosome represented as N. And how this diploid number is retained or regained by the fusion of both male and the female gametes diploid zygote are produced which leads to the development of diploid progeny or offspring. Numerical changes in chromosome number takes place and this is known as change in ploidy. This is of two types euploidy and aneuploidy. In this video we will talk about euploidy. So what is euploidy? It is loss or addition of complete one or more sets of chromosome. So here the change involves the entire set of the chromosome. That is the entire set of the chromosome results in the change. And it is of two types. Monoploidy when individual has only one set of chromosome represented as N, then it is known as monoploidy, it is also known as haploid. It is seen in lower eukaryotes and all prokaryotes. Polyploidy. It is an increase in chromosome number by addition of one or more set of chromosome to the diploid genome. So to the 2N, one or more sets of chromosomes are added it may be n, 2n, 3n, 4n and so on. And this results in polyploidy. So how polyploidy occurs? Naturally it occurs when there is failure in cross wall formation at the telophase. In the telophase or during the telophase, the separated chromosomes move towards the opposite pole. Daughter nuclei form and this is followed by the cell wall formation. When there is no cell wall formation, or no formation of cleavage furrow takes place then the two cells do not separate and it leads to polyploidy failure of the spindle formation or its action we know that the spindle fibers helps in the separation of homologous chromosome and also sister chromatids of the chromosome when there is failure in the spindle formation then it leads to polyploidy because no separation of the chromosome takes place. Failure of the meiosis in the gamete formation. When there is failure in the meiosis of the gamete formation, then also it leads to polyploidy. It can be induced artificially. One of the chemical used is colchicine and this arrests the spindle formation. When there is no spindle formation, there is no chromosome separation and hence it leads to polyploidy. Polyploids are 3N. It is known as triploid. If it is 4N, then tetraploid, 5N, pentaploid, 6N, hexaploid. Occurrence, where does polyploidy occurs? It is rare among animals, fungi and most groups of gymnosperms. It occurs in angiosperms and pteridophytes, so it is more common in plants. On the basis of source of chromosome sets, it is of two types, autopolyploidy and allopolyploidy. So let us see autopolyploidy. Single genome is repeated twice or more than twice. So here the same chromosome complement is duplicated. Suppose if the haploid genome is A, diploid is 2A, autotriploid is 3A, tetraploid is 4A and so on. This is the diploid genome during the gametogenesis, haploid gametes are produced. 
Then the male and the female gamete fuses, it produces a zygote which is diploid and then the duplication takes place either naturally or by the application of chemicals like colchicine. Then it results into polyploidy. Here the same chromosome complement is only duplicated. This is known as autopolyploidy. Here it is autotetraploid. Now let us see allopolyploidy. It is a condition formed by union of two or more distinct chromosome sets and it is followed by doubling of the chromosome. So here it is doubling of chromosome in an interspecific or intergeneric hybrid. Let us understand this. Parents capital AA and capital BB is crossed. Gametes A and B are produced. We get F1 generation which is AB. So it is interspecific or intergeneric hybrid. Then the colchicine doubling takes place and we get capital AA capital BB. This is allopolyploidy. Example present day bread wheat triticum estivum or triticum vulgar is developed by this method. Now the significance of polyploidy. Autopolyploidy increases the size and vigor of the plant. It changes the size of the fruits and pollens. Normally they are bigger in size. Vitamins, alkaloids and sugar content also increases as seen in the autopolyploidy in wheat. Polyploidy changes season of blooming and fruiting and changes annual plant into perennial plant. Allopolyploids helps in development of new species by interbreeding and polyploidy new varieties can be obtained and this can be disease resistance having higher yield and better quality and this can result in the revolution of agriculture. So this is all for today's video. In the next video we will discuss about aneuploidy. So stay tuned and if you like this video please hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel thank you